video, you're going to need red, black, yellow, and white yarn, a 5mm crochet hook, some scissors, and a yarning needle, which I will get to later. Let's go ahead and make our slip knot and put it on our hook. Okay, so to start this off, I mean, it's going to be a very simple pattern. Okay, we're just going to chain up three and slip stitch into the first chain. Okay, then we're going to chain up our one and in the middle of that circle there, we're going to place eight single crochets. One, two, three, seven, and here is eight. Okay, then we're just going to go ahead and slip stitch right to the top of that chain one. I'm going to just go right through the middle of it. That's fine. Just like so. And then pull tight. Okay. And now for this round, we're just going to go ahead and chain up one and single crochet in every stitch twice. Okay. So we just finished our two doubles in every stitch around. Now I'm just going to slip stitch into that first one, chain up one, and now we're going to do one single crochet and then two single crochets. So that's the pattern in this one. One single crochet and then the next stitch two single crochets. And then one, now two. All right, now we're on the last stitch here. We're just gonna go ahead and put two in there because that's what the pattern finishes as. Then we're just gonna slip stitch into that first one. Okay, there we have it. Now we're gonna chain up one and put one single crochet in every stitch around for the next four rows. So rows four, five, six, seven, and eight, so five rows, are all gonna be the same. So go ahead and work this around, chain up one, and then do it again for five, five rows. So you should be on the eighth row when we have this done. Okay, I was given these stitch markers for a review, so we're gonna go ahead and use these to mark our place here because I'm getting lost of where we started and ended. So I'm just gonna mark the chain one and then continue going around with my single crochets. One single crochet in every stitch around. Okay, so I just finished my eighth row and now we're gonna chain two. And we don't need our stitch marker anymore because it's gonna be more pronounced with the chain two. So I'm gonna put it away. And now we're gonna do rows nine to 16. We're gonna do one half double crochet in every stitch around, including where we chained. So go ahead and complete rows nine to 16, completing one half double crochet in every stitch around. Okay, so now we're gonna chain one for the heel. We're gonna put one single crochet in the next 16 stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, okay, and then rows two to eight, we're just gonna turn our work, chain up one, and single crochet across back over that, that section. We're just gonna do this up to row eight, and this is gonna be the heel of your stocking. All right, so I just finished that, and now what we're gonna do is kind of this is what it looks like now. Don't mind her, she's changing the fish filter. So this is what it looks like now. Now, we're gonna take it and kind of fold it up this way. Just like that. But first we wanna go ahead and chain our one and turn our work. Now, what we're going to do is close the heel off. And, and to do that, we're gonna line up the ends. See them here? Just like that. And we're gonna go into the first one and into the matching one on the opposite side, just like so. So I have two different stitches. 
yarn over and single crochet and again we're gonna go through the matching ones yarn over and single crochet so here's one and one and then through the other two okay so it's really quite simple to close your heel off it's not that difficult at all you just have to pay attention that you're getting the um, the right side to the other side you know going into the correct ones and last one here and that closes the heel see now it's closed so now we're going to be working that section so what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to fasten off our work up here because we no longer need to be at the heel so just chain up one cut your yarn and pull through so we're just going to take our yarn let me try to make some room and we're just going to start another slip knot we're going to join the slip knot in the first chain made right before the heel. So right here, we made that right in there, right there. So right before this heel, we're going to go into this stitch here, or you can go into this stitch here. So right into here, and we're going to fasten on and chain up one, okay? Now I like to work over my tails. In this round we're just going to go ahead and put one single crochet all the way around. So we're going to single crochet into that stitch that we've fastened on at and then we're just going to put one single crochet all the way around. into the first one actually you should probably put one in the middle here yeah you can go ahead and put a single crochet right in the middle there and then slip stitch into that first one there see there it is nice and perfect so you're gonna go ahead and do one more row of single crochets um, so let's just go ahead and chain up one and single crochet in every stitch we made just now okay I'll meet you back here when I have that all finished okay, I just completed that row of single crochets now we're going to move into our half double crochets okay so let's go ahead and chain up our one two okay and we're just going to put one half double crochet in every round, every stitch around for rows three to fourteen. Okay? So rows three to fourteen. Just gonna go ahead and put one half double crochet in every stitch around. And that then we will come back and change our color to white and then we will do a little black in there too and um, I will have linked down below how to make his ears I have a video specifically on that and um, I'm not gonna make it in this video because there's really no reason to when I already have a video <laughs> so you can just go ahead and finish this off 
we'll finish the stocking and then make up your two Mickey ears and we will attach those suckers. So we went ahead and finished that and I chained up. So now all we're gonna do is grab our white yarn and I've already have a slip knot on there. We're just gonna slip it into here and pull the red extremely tight. Okay, and now we're just gonna continue chaining up our two, pull that red really tight, and do our one half double crochet in every stitch around again. This, this with the white, we're gonna go ahead and do three rows, I think would be perfect. Okay, go ahead and cut your yarn. We're done with the white, and let's attach our black. I am going to have a bunch of um, Christmas stockings coming up here in the next month. So please stay tuned for that. And if you're excited for that, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like this video so that I know people are excited and want more. All right, so I just attached my black. I'm gonna chain up my two. And now I'm just gonna do two rows of the black. I'm not gonna do more than two rows. I think two rows is enough. So again, I'm just working my tail as well. Working the tails over top. Now we're gonna go ahead and fasten this off by chaining up one and cutting our yarn and pulling that really tight. So now we're gonna flip it the correct way. And what we wanna do is, hang on, let me cut this back. What we want to do is we want to go into the corner here, the stitch here. So it's folded up like this. You want to grab the stitch on this side right here. Hold on, let me. Okay, so we have it folded and we don't want to hit this stitch in the middle directly. What we want to do is go into this stitch here and then we're gonna chain, and then we're gonna slip stitch into this stitch, so this stitch will be completely missed over here. So, go ahead and insert your hook, and you can chain whatever color you want. I'm just gonna use the color we last stop on, because it's easier. Okay, and then we're just gonna go ahead and chain 20. One, two, three, 18, and 20. And now we're going to take that and we're going to make sure we don't make it cricket. And we're going to remember, I said we're going to skip that middle one. And we're going to go right into this one here. And we're just going to slip stitch into there, chain up one, cut our yarn, and pull through. And there's our loop for, for um, to hang it up. I'm just going to tie a couple knots with that other one. And then we'll go ahead and weave those in. And on Christmas, okay. we'll show you a picture of her. Now I have my Mickey ear. Again, I said I will link a video down below for that. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and insert my yarn into my yarning needle. And these, I'm just going to put them right on the black. So I'm not going to crochet a lot of it unless you want to like crochet it in, like in the back like that. Um, or you can just put it right in the front and crochet it like that or on the inside like you can stick it right in the inside crochet it to the back and then it'll be like this but I'm just gonna crochet it directly to the back like this okay so go ahead and crochet both of your or go ahead and sew on both of your ears and then we'll come back up and finish this off all right so now you're just gonna go ahead and place on your buttons and just sew them into place. I'm gonna do that off camera because it's a lot easier. So when I come back, we'll have this all done and that will be that. Right, and here's the finished project. I will insert some pictures after the video is ended and you'll be able to see it a lot better um, with it hanging up, but there it is. Well, I hope you guys like this video and I do hope this inspires you to crochet along with me. Please comment down below what other Christmas stockings you would like to see before Christmas. And don't forget to check those description box for all my tutorials and links to other videos as well as my social media. And um, please make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, go ahead and give us a big fat thumbs up. And we will catch you in our next video. Bye. See you later. Mm -hmm.